All right. Look at that. Good evening. All the way from, are you guys really in Alaska? You're just out in the backyard in Buffalo Grove somewhere. Oh, we got the perfect, we painted this backdrop in Buffalo Grove. It's like 3D. <laughs> Beautiful. Good job. That's not just some virtual backdrop there. That's the real deal. You're out in Alaska. All right. So we're honored to have with us once again. We had him last year, Rabbi Schneer Nuttick. And we recognize that guy. That's Michal Baruch, born and bred, Chicagoan. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So let's get started. Tell us about where are you and what in the world are you doing there? We are in Hope, Alaska. Actually, Hope, the name Alaska. of the town. Okay. And when it's, did you arrive? Give us the, the give us the the dynamics. When when did you get there? How many guys are there? Who are those people in the background there? Photo bombing us. What's going on? <laughs> tell us about the program, and uh, and tell us how we, long uh, you've been there and what what's on the plans. We arrived in Anchorage uh, Sunday afternoon. So uh, you fly noon. direct from Chicago. How do you fly to Anchorage? Uh, um, there are 15 of us and we are on a teen adventure tour. And this is for some of us, our first time in Alaska. Um, uh, Michal was in Alaska last year with us. Mm -hmm. Um, knew we had to come back. Of course. Yeah. There's nothing like doing a trip in Alaska. And, uh, thank you, Rabbi, for helping us make this trip happen. Thank you. Well, yes, you. really. really. It's incredible. We, uh, we so give us it. some of the logistics. How do you get kosher food for 15 hungry teenagers? How do you how do you make arrangements? Where are you sleeping out in the woods there? I mean, walk us through some of the details and then tell us about some of the guys who are there. Oh, sure. We, uh, well, we actually ship all of the food with us from Chicago. We come along with like 20 containers of provisions, tents, equipment, um, kosher meat. You order from a distributor and then we dry freeze it and then we put it in these special coolers that stay cold for about 10 days and we ship we fly with them um this year actually we had the good fortune of having our suitcases uh delayed by alaskan airlines so we oh, fly to not like last year when they broke into your van and stole your passports right, right right exactly it's part of the adventure last year they broke into the van they didn't steal any meat though unfortunately <laughs> they missed our good kosher meat so they took some cameras and cell phones and passports but uh thank god that's behind us and we it's just it's beautiful we have a we have a group of five staff and we set up the the itinerary logistics beforehand we camp only in designated camp sites with camp hosts uh, in alaska if you camp in the wrong place you might get visited by some hungry bears so uh -oh. <laughs> not necessarily what we're looking for we have two items on the menu tonight we're out fishing uh in hope this is a great fishing town and uh hopefully for lucky enough well, uh, we actually have caught ready for salmon. Um, nice. hopefully, yeah, hopefully they'll taste good. Otherwise, we're gonna have uh, barbecue and of peanut some, butter uh, and jelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some, and some so, what time is it? What time is it there in the, in Alaska? Right now, it's uh, six fifteen p.m. Six and, fifteen. So uh, you're three hours earlier than us. We're nine fifteen p.m. Okay, so yeah. where is Hope relative to Anchorage? How far out are you? We're about an hour to an hour and a half from Anchorage. Uh, really, really, really small town. It has We have cell phone reception here, but for about a half hour in each direction, there's no cell phone reception at all. Um, this is a great fishing town. And apparently the the, the salmon just swam up here. Uh, they're just You can just see them in the rocks. Okay, it's instead of- catch one. Oh, we're hearing the noise from some of the <laughs> fishermen. They've caught some fish. All right, uh, Mazel Tov. They got any gefilte yeah. fish there? <laughs> no, gefilte the fish, mostly salmon. This is interesting. Instead of using the bait, all you got to do is cast out the hook and the fish just catch them. No bait required. Yeah, you just got to pull it. And... Just, just reel it in. It's so, amazing. Bark, did you catch any fish yourself? I didn't catch any fish. I don't really like the fishing because it's just, it's very patience oriented and it's just mm -hmm. like, like Not keep doing thing. it. So yeah, this is the, like the one thing on the trip that I just like, I kind of sit on the side. Everything else that I love. So what you is everything want... else? What else have you done? Let's hear. Let's hear. You landed on Sunday in yeah. Anchorage and then what you waited for your luggage then what so we waited for luggage for a little and then and then we um oh man I can barely remember it all just happened just in two days it's only Part Tuesday <laughs> um so we did so we yeah we did this like ski lift thing where they bring you up the mountain and it's just gorgeous oh my god it was so amazing and then we did uh the hike down 
it was really intense, really great. Like, I loved it. My legs are still like incredibly. Yeah, cool. and two fish. Oh, yeah, no, thank you very much. Yeah, two fish. Yeah. So my One legs are still kind of. <laughs> Okay, so, so tell us about the guys. Who's there with you besides Michal Baruch? Michal Baruch is, uh, is our main star. Of and, course, uh, that we know. But who else is with you? All the guys from Chicago, from all over the country. Chicago, Where are they? Uh, Montreal, Oregon, Idaho, California. Uh, we have one boy who joined us from London. London, um, nice. Yeah, imagine the fly all the way out here to join us in Alaska. It's really uh, quite the adventure. He came last year as well. He wouldn't miss it. Um, we have it's boys with a very background. Some of them it's their first Jewish experience. So we'll do a bar mitzvah for them on Shabbos. Nice. Uh, yeah, others go to Jewish schools, have some Jewish knowledge. Um, it's the it's the combination of fun and adventure, and the opportunity to really make strong friendships that really make this trip amazing. Fantastic. Um, yeah. And who are your staff? Are you running this all by yourself or you got help? Oh, no, no, thank God. We have amazing staff. They came by, uh, they've been here last year. Uh, there are from all over the U.S. Um, let's see, Charlotte, North Carolina. All right. Uh, La Cruz, California. Um, we have one from Colorado. I'm here on this trip with my wife for the first time. Oh, uh, hey. Who's that guy with the tits behind you there? Who are those guys? Uh, Elio, uh, he's from um northern florida and we have in yeah, the I back know. there we have uh yitzi he's from uh, he's from yeah. milwaukee yeah so uh milwaukee. all right yeah from all over the u.s uh, and it's and you're uh, sleeping it, out in tents in the campsite yeah we're sleeping out in the tents yeah. tonight last oh, night yeah. we stayed in a in a hotel in uh seward right across from the ocean oh my god gorgeous literally gorgeous it's like in the morning, there was so much fog. You couldn't see the ocean, even though it was only like a hundred so feet in front yeah. of you. It's just, it's incredible. Oh, wow. uh, so, so it's now it's really, really sunny. It's really, really hot for Alaskan standards. Maybe like 80 degrees. Doesn't get dark here until about 11 or 1130 PM. So, so it's like have a my room until midnight. Huh? Correct. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like, so then we do like late, you know, late, um, we go to sleep late and we wake up late and start the day a little later. That's just how it works here. You know, no one's going to yeah. fall asleep before it gets dark and it's going to be about it's midnight. Hard, yeah. Oh, wow. So you got up this morning and what, what, let's tell us, take, walk us through what you've done so far today. So this morning we woke up and we had, uh, in, at the ocean front, we did uh, davening and we had a uh, special uh, chassidus class from Isaac from Aspen. Nice. Uh, called, Isaac you know? from Aspen. Yeah, Isaac from Aspen. He actually is a great skier as well. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Really some nice outdoors. One outdoors, yeah. We got another fish. There you go. <laughs> we got forecast here. It's raining meatballs or fish here. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible. And then we went to a exit glacier, which is like a hike. You can walk all the way up to a glacier and see the, the river that it feeds. That's incredible. It's just like it's out of this world. Uh it's about you know an hour hike. And, and then you we designed this whole trip, or I mean, how do you come up with these plans and these ideas and these trips and these hikes and so on? Like is there is there is this a preset thing or you designed it yourself and all the logistics and getting the food and the kids and so forth? How does that work? Uh, it's it's a whole production. This is the third time I'm doing a trip to Alaska and uh, maybe the uh, 13th summer of doing these trips, either out west or Israel, Alaska. We've been down south, all the way up to Canada, northern Wisconsin. Um, it's, 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 it's a group effort, really. The staff do an incredible job. This group here has been here last year, so they were more familiar. Uh, we have a cook who really, he does all of the logistics for the food. That was the man who walked Yeah, by. that was Elia who passed by yeah. from uh, northern uh, northern Florida. He's being joined by our other uh, other cook who did more of the logistics. He's from Kansas. Oh. And uh, yeah, I remember he was here last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anybody in Alaska who's sort of helping you as a point man in Alaska? Uh, well, the Chabad in Alaska is great. Reverend Greenberg, he's a real, he's our, he's our star. He actually, he for brains and sits with us in Shabbos afternoon. And Shabbos afternoon here is really long. Oh, it's from gosh. like 5 p.m. to, to 1 a.m., depending on when oh, you arrive, July or August. And he just like for brains, sits with us, tells us stories about his time in Alaska and his time with the Rebbe, uh, wow, maybe 30, 40 years ago. He's got some incredible stories. We love it. And uh, how do you get around? You have a bus or you guys drive yourselves? Like, well, how does that work? Uh, we have a, a U-Haul for all of our, all of our provisions, the food. The uh, all the grills for the cooks. Um, what about the people? We two, we have a van, we have a support vehicle, so really it's a whole production. 
Uh, the first time we set up this trip, we worked on it for about six months. Wow. Uh, really? Yeah. It's it, just, just to know what to look out for. There's the bears. There's something called, uh, there are these cracks in the ice and the glacier that you wouldn't know about crevasses. See, we have, uh, we see, we got Look some at experience. that, he's a whole Alaskan uh, over there. Right, right, exactly. If you don't know what to look out for, you don't even know what the dangers are. Uh, they, the glaciers or the ice patches, they look really sturdy, but they actually have these holes in the middle of them you'll never know about. And that, people on There's one fall. way to find out. <laughs> right, right, right. We're not looking to find out. You can only go on a guided <laughs> tour in a specific area. So it's uh, it's part of the fun. Uh, we have uh, Mendel coming by uh, with some of our fish. Some fish hey, here. Mendel. Hello, how you doing? Oh my God, where are you from, Mendel? I'm from Santa Cruz, California. Oh boy, and how do you like it so far in Alaska? Dude, it's amazing. No, never see anything like it. Have you ever oh, been here before? Been hey, who are these guys? What's your yeah. name? There you go. Yeah. Who are these guys? What's your... Oh, let's eat a fish. Nice. You just caught those or you got them in Jewel? Come on, tell us the truth. Yeah, we got them in Jewel, out here in Alaska. All right, who are these guys? Let's introduce yourself. What's your names? You Some forgot. names. Sorry. What's your name? Kosti. And where are you from? Ukraine. Ukraine. Oh, wow. Welcome. Nice. Have you ever been to Alaska before? Yeah, last year. It's the last same year. You enjoying it? Yeah. And then you're going back to Ukraine? No. <laughs> You're staying here, huh? Is he coming right back to Chicago? Nice. <laughs> and what's your name? Yitzi. Yitzi, where are you from? Milwaukee. Milwaukee. No. How do you like Alaska? It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Good enthusiasm. Glad yeah. you're enjoying it. Who else we got there? Who's that on the phone? Baby. You want to say hi? Wow. All right. What's your name? Baby. Baby, where are you from? Goki, Chicago. Goki, I heard of that. How are you enjoying Alaska? Good. You ever been to before? Is this your first time? Yeah. So is it everything you hoped it would be? Yeah. Good. Great. What are you guys planning on doing for the rest of the night? Now you got your salmon caught. What's the next step? Dinner and camping. Dinner. So do you you guys prepare it yourself or you have a cook who knows how to prepare the salmon? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, turn. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha, where are you from? I live in London. You live in London. Where in London? Um, well, both in Central and North London. Uh -huh. yeah. How long have you lived in London for? Like a long time, like a lot of years. And how? And how did you find out about this camp and get all the way to Alaska? Uh, so this rabbi, you know, he knew uh, Zalman, and so yeah, I started going to scout, yeah, like uh, a couple years ago. Ah, if you, so this isn't your first time, you've been here before, yeah, I've been here before, yeah, and you have they're taking good care of you, yeah, so far, you enjoy? yeah, you having a good time, yeah, today I caught like um, five or six fish, yeah, oh, yeah, have you ever been yeah. fishing besides in Alaska? Do you ever go fishing in London? Uh, I mean, I go fishing like a lot, like every oh, yeah. year. Okay, so you're a fishing ex expert. Wonderful. Okay, can we see those salmon again? Those are like twenty dollars a pound in Jewel. Let's get a look at this. How many you got in there? Uh, the reason why their heads are missing is a curb stomped all of them. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. How many? How many did you catch? I caught like five or six, and I curb stomped every single fish in that cooler. Oh boy, nice. And that's going to be enough to feed everyone. I hope so. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, what's on the schedule for tomorrow? Just look at it. You don't know. <laughs> Let's get it to, to Zalman. Zalman, where are you? Hey. So, so you're going to cook this fish tonight. You're going to sleep out in tents, right? Yeah. And then what's your wife? She also sleeps in the tents? No, no we're going to stay nearby in a hotel. You're not crazy, you know. Nearby, we're gonna jump like 45 minutes away. Um, we're in a really, really small town, it's probably population like 75 people. Wow, um, mamish. Yeah, it's really, really, really like there's not a Chabad house there in Hope, uh, Alaska. Yeah, so, oh, we'll, we'll bring some hope to Hope. We're gonna be the Chabad house for tonight. You have a mini. Imagine how many times does anybody dab in Mincha in Hope, Alaska? Right, exactly. Right. Yeah, Hashem created it just so you can do it. Okay, so what's what's the rest of the week looking like? Tomorrow we're going whitewater rafting. Oh boy! Call Barak. Is that good? You're looking for what? You're like okay. Then what? 
it's called uh, Six Mile Creek. It's it's got the uh, highest level whitewater rafting in in the U.S. anywhere. Oh okay. Yeah, it's it's oh boy, it's uh, it's the yeah, it's the real thing. It's the real uh, thing. It's the real thing. It's 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 level five. It's pretty intense. Uh, well, we have the guides and then the staff on the actual rafts. Two guides, one staff member per raft, so they'll always be okay. It goes to less than mm-hmm. before. And, Nicole Bark, you ever been white water rafting before? Tom was last year. Oh, just last country. year. Is it good? Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. It was like really, really, really awesome. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Okay, what else you got coming up this week? What are some highlights? Horseback riding. Whoa. And uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna do another. Oh boy, that's our rest of our fishermen still here. Um, we got uh, horseback riding, and then we're gonna do another. Um, we're gonna go to the Kenai Peninsula. And uh, we're gonna go all the way down to like the southernmost point one can see in uh, in Alaska, at least the area that's drivable. Um, and then next week we're gonna go up. We're gonna spend uh, Shabbat in um, spend Shabbat at the Chabad in Anchorage. How far and is then, Anchorage from where you are now? Uh, where we are now, it's about an hour and a half. And what time uh, is candlelighting there? Like ten o'clock oh, at night? Yeah, it changes like really quickly in the summer. Probably about ten, somewhere wow. around ten. Yeah, it's 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 pretty wild. And uh, it doesn't really get dark to like, I don't know, 11, 30 or 12. What do they do for uh, tissue bubs? It fast ends at midnight? Yeah. It's just that, that it's it's wild. Okay. It, maybe I think, ends, I think midnight is says like, when the stars come out. So right about midnight. Yeah. Crazy. It's it's, it's wild. Uh, it was, so we arrived after tissue bubs. So we'll have to hear that our tissue bub adventures when we get there for Shabbos. Next week, we're going to go to Denali, uh, big oh. national park. Um, we're going to see Mount McKinley. And we're going to go ATVing. That's really fun. Whoa, sounds like radical. Excellent. Now, it looks like it's, you said it's 80 degrees. Are there still spots that you'll be going to where it's still cold? Like we think of Alaska, like snow and Eskimos and igloos and all that kind of stuff? Or is that kind of like way, way far away from where you are? Well, we where we came from this morning, it was about, this last night was probably about 50, 55 degrees and, uh, and cloudy. And we, today we went, we went up to the actual glaciers on our hike, the exit glacier. Yeah, it's just, you just, all you can see is white and ice. This area is, is much warmer. I mean, that's why it's a better place for fishing. Have you um, seen any penguins? No, no penguins. We saw some sea lions yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, but not, it's not like penguins are flying around over there like we think of. You know. <laughs> no, that's more of a myth. Okay. <laughs> Look, you said you've been doing this for six years. I'm sure you're busy. Can you give us one quick story, maybe not from this year, maybe from two years ago, from five years ago, of some long-term impact this has? I hear these kids are coming back every year. It's two full weeks in Alaska. Is that the this year? Last year you were in California a little bit. This year, two full weeks in Alaska. Can you give us yeah. maybe a, a story, an insight, or something that we could hear about that you've been Absolutely. doing this, you know, for so many years? I, I would say that the the biggest impact, one that I appreciate the most, is how closely connected the boys feel to the trip, even years and years later. Uh, they live all over the world now. Um, I was just living in Israel for six months, and. I have some uh, some boys that I know uh, that have been on the trips, wow, maybe 11, 12 years ago. And some of the boys, they go on to yeshivas. Um, they go on to be Chabad rabbis themselves. Some of them, they, they you know, they they have their traditional Judaism that they stay along with, but they all absolutely love the camp. They have like a warm spot in their heart for it. It sounds uh, they like it's walk. crazy. Yeah, it's wild. So many years ago, like they're just like as soon as I arrived in Israel, they were like, "When can we meet you?" They heard that I was coming, wanted to spend some time. Uh, one of them is getting married in Peru. Wow. In Peru. I, yeah, he asked me to come by and uh, you know be the MC at the wedding. Uh, it's just it's wild. It's been so many years, and they still feel warm connection to camp. They still their closest friends are other campers that have been on the camp, and they came to my wedding, uh, our wedding in Israel. That was amazing. Um, I think for me, that's what stands out the most. But this year, I just got, uh, there are boys that come, this is their first Jewish experience, and they go on to one yeshiva for the first year, kind of try it out, and they go to Chabad yeshivas. But there are several of them that have gone on to be Chabad rabbis. One of them just joined the uh, Chabad on campus in uh, Kansas. Yeah, that's and, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. He came 10 years ago in 2013 on our trip out west, and it was his first Jewish experience put on film for the first time. Wow. And he uh, a month later, he figured he would try it out. He stayed, went to another yeshiva, went to Chabad Yeshiva in L.A., and then in New York, came back, got married, lived in New York for another year, and uh, now he's Chabad rabbi. It is unbelievable. And right, so we got to get him on. We got to get him on. Yeah. We yeah. had him on on Tuesday. All right, Michal Baruch, 
Give us a wow. thought. Shout out to all your buddies here from Base Menachem. Tell us how you're enjoying it, whether it's good, what's the best part, what are you looking forward to? Give us a little taste. It's, it's been amazing. I mean, I did this last year. You know, it's, it was amazing last year. Um, Zalman uh, texted me. He's like, do you want to come? I was like, 100%. I would love to come. That would be amazing. And so far, you know, we're only three days in, and already I'm, like, having, like, an amazing trip. I'm, like, we've seen so much beautiful nature already. Like, I love this nature, the mountains. I just love it. It gives me life. Like, it's just fantastic. And the Judaism here is, like, perfect. It's just, like, you know, it, it really just inspiring. Everyone's so, like, nice about it. Everyone's very comforting. It's really just fantastic. Fantastic. Wow, that's the greatest. You should be in your in your spokesman. All right. Shneer, Michal Baruch, the rest of the gang, thank you for spending some time. Beautiful thank nature you. there. What's that? Thank you for helping make the trip happen. You Rabbi, so you're the best. No, it's great. I'm so happy for you. It's so It looks pretty crazy and beautiful out there just on Zoom and to see the fish that you caught and to hear about this trip. It's, uh, it's we're, we're experiencing it with you. So thank you so much for spending some of the time. Go back. Baruch, tell, tell, tell Baruch Mr. Pine sends his regards. There you go, Mr. Pine. You heard it. There you go. McCall Barks waving to you. Anyone got any questions they want to jump in with? All right. We're going to let you get back to ATVing and camping and sleeping outside and hiking. And it looks like you got some flies out there. You got to get some bug spray or something. Uh, yes. The flies like it in Alaska, too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, they, they wouldn't miss it for the world. I don't blame them. All right. Well, enjoy. Have such a good time. Michal Baruch, we want to see you when you get back and give us a full report, okay? Well, 100%. I'll give you the whole rundown. All right. Send some pictures. We'd love to see you. That would be great, too. Okay. Thank, thank you for spending the time. Thank you. I think the the, the the biggest thank you here goes to my wife for actually joining us on this trip. It's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I hope you bought us some flowers for Shabbos. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for spending time with us. Okay, everybody. Tomorrow night, we're going to learn about the 15th of Av. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.